come all the way to Paris so that we get a chance to talk to Lester <laughs> Holt of NBC News. Lester, it's always good to see you. Great to see you as well. It dawns on me, though, that it is really difficult for you to ever be in the right place. Right now, we've got a boiling political cauldron back at home. We just got the news today about uh, Evan Gershkovich and Paul Whelan. And yet the Olympics are going on. Kind of a tough place to f way to figure out your well, itinerary. It, it could be. I mean, before we came, we certainly looked at the world situation. Sure. Um, but the fact is, and I've said this for a long time, nightly news is wherever I am, wherever we take the broadcast. Right. So, you know, whether it's Antarctica or, or Paris, <laughs> um, you know, we, we come on the air and say nightly news. That's what it is. Um, that said, this is a... This is an amazing time to be a journalist right now. I mean, we're all a little tired, but I mean, the stories that we've seen unfold here, an assassination attempt on a, on a presidential candidate, um, an incumbent president deciding not to not to run in a second term, yeah. stories like uh, the uh, the hostage uh, swap today. So it's been an amazing time to cover these stories. You know, we're able to do it certainly as, as robustly here as, as we can in New York. There's a Chinese greeting that translates to, may you live in interesting times. We have a Chinese jubilee going on right now. <laughs> I'm going to use that. You can have it. I won't credit you, but I'm going to use <laughs> it's, it. It's okay. Uh, well, originality is the art of concealing your source. The, uh, um, uh, the Olympics, to me, kind of needed a little bit of a reboot, right? We had the, the, the COVID year, in, in uh, the COVID years, rather, were kind of dystopic. And this really has felt like the Olympics that you and I new and love, yeah. right? It's, it's been part of an ongoing conversation I've had with a lot of other folks who have done a lot of these. This is number 11 for me, and we, it feels like we're back. Yeah. You know, we're not looking over our shoulders, someone's going to swab our cheek, or, or whatever the, you know, the, the, the case may be. Um, I feel the athletes are we're happy about it, their families are happy about it, journalists. Um, this is an exciting moment. You know, you and I grew up watching yeah. Olympics, and it kind of feels like that again, and it's great to be a part of it. And it, given the times that you're describing in which we live, they're really, I, I am enough of a believer in this, uh, in the Olympic movement, to think that these, uh, they're more important than ever at moments like this. Yeah, it's, it's just about an achievement, and one, one thing I love about doing the Olympics is that we'll sit here and we'll watch these young, I call them kids, <laughs> you know, do these amazing things, and then then we'll have them on our shows the next day or two, and they've got the, the medals around their neck, they're beaming, and let's be honest, a lot of them, we're going to probably forget their names for a while, because, you know, a lot of us don't cover a lot of these sports year-round, right. right. but they're toiling at it, even when we're not paying attention, and so for them to have their one or two weeks in the spotlight, I think is pretty awesome. Yeah. Lastly, talk to me a little bit about covering this insane political year. Uh, we're down to the last couple of months here, and uh, it's intense. Things are moving in overdrive. You know, we're, of course, waiting for a vice presidential nominee mm -hmm. pick. That's going to happen. I'll be in Chicago for the uh, Democratic National right. Convention. You know, we're, we're bringing a lot of firepower, uh, uh, firepower, obviously, <laughs> political, you know, covering this political story with, with you know, our, our resources. I think it's going to be, um, you know, everybody says unprecedented. Uh, I hate to use a word like that um, because the process is the process. But everything is expedited right now. Yeah. So I think it's going to be a sprint using an Olympic uh, <laughs> right. metaphor. It's going to yeah. be a sprint to the finish line in November. It's always great to talk to you. You travel with a bass. I didn't travel with a guitar. We're missing our I, opportunity to jam. It's my with, fault. I with a little mini bass, and I was in my hotel room jamming away with my head, headphones uh, on. So in case, I love it. in case things slow down. Yeah. <laughs> they haven't yet, but in case they do. Yeah. Thanks, Lester. It's always good to talk All to you. All righty.